The next presentation is OP52. It's on a sustainable program for the innovations to combat COVID-19 pandemic in Sri Lanka. The authors are Dr. Padeni A. Kolambage P. Samarasinga H. Silva T. E. U. N. D. Alutge H. Fernando S. Soisa N. D. Anand S. Lanarol N. D. Navodani M. R. U. N. And the present is Navodani M. R. U. N. Good afternoon. I'm here to uh, present a sustainable program for the innovations to combat COVID-19 pandemic in Sri Lanka. If we consider the COVID-19 pandemic and the innovations, the COVID-19 pandemic had occurred in a situation where the world had not pre previously prepared for this. And it has consumed both medical and non-medical sector facilities throughout the world. And uh, as a result, new innovations and inventions is being produced as the need arises. If we consider the Sri Lanka, it's a lower middle income country where the facilities and equipment is limited to face this global pandemic and also a vast amount of money is expended to import health equipment. And in this situation, as an isolated island, we are at a risk of shortage of uh, these equipment as the supply chains may be cut down. And if we take the isolated island as an advantage, we are capable of controlling this pandemic if we are able to build up the, these necessary things within the country. And uh, if we consider the background, and the COVID-19 pandemic has brought back the innovative minds, and but the support and assistance is needed for the innovations to be sustained. And, uh, most of the innovations are based on a health setting, so most of the innovators doesn't have this facility. So a, a healthcare facility is needed for uh, to uh, get the ethical clearance, standardization, and obtaining approval. And the certification process is also needed to sustain these innovations. So uh, here, uh, as the Government Medical Officers Association and the Society for Health Research and Innovations build up a common platform for the innovators where they could get their innovations evaluated and the technical support and the medical opinions and the patency and funding issues and uh, the certification and manufacturing issues to be sorted out. It was a stage process. At the initial stage, uh, we could uh, we could uh, find the innovators uh, using an uh, online system that they were registered in the online system and uh, they were uh, at, at several meetings. They, the guidance was uh, issued to the innovators regarding their innovations. Uh, the, there was an expert panel and the expert panel consists of uh, various sector specialties and uh, in that process the one innovation was uh, evaluated several times and uh, their uh, their uh, needs were taken and uh, in the after that uh, if they when they come to a satisfactory level the minimum requirement was assessed and currently uh, the collaboration with the ministry of health is being done for the certifying process we need the collaboration from the ministry of health and these are some pictures uh, taken at the assessment by the expert panels And uh, during the uh, during the program, a research and development committee was formed, as uh, we need uh, specialists from the uh, relevant sectors, as there were various kinds of innovations. And uh, if we summarize the innovations, uh, there were more than 50 innovations coming to us. But uh, when we consider the satisfactory level innovation, we have summarized this. And uh, Currently, uh, the minister with the Ministry of Health, an uh, innovation committee is formed, and uh, there were few issues identified at the program. And the first thing is the innovators lack innovators are lacking of expert opinion, and uh, attaining of the ethical clearance and patency was also an issue. The financial issues uh, have burdened the innovators from uh, their process, and quality assurance and standardization method has has to be optimized. And the approval process, certifying process, was also has also to be 
uh, sort out then the manufacturing issues and lack of a mechanism for sustainability and a buyback mechanism has to be made mm, we recommend that uh, to overcome the identified issues uh, with uh, with the support of the ministry of health and uh, also to make the innovators and innovation sustainable with the ministry of uh, health and uh, to establish a buyback mechanism for the innovations to be sustainable thank you this is open for questions. What is the purpose of this certification? The certification is uh, actually when we, uh, regarding the program, we uh, want to know that the, uh, when a new innovation comes, uh, a certifying process is needed and also if it's a medical equipment uh, like thing, uh, the clinical trials has to be done. Uh, for example, for a ventilator, uh, a very high quality process had to be in order for the high quality process has to be there for the certification as a ventilator. So for that, uh, there, there, the currently there is uh, no sustainable program or a uh, very uh, regulated program. So uh, the aim is to uh, regulate this uh, certifying process and to make the innovation sustainable. Do they simultaneously apply for patency as well? Yes. Most of the innovators uh, have uh, applied for patency. And uh, there are some, some things like ventilators, uh, they can't apply for patency because uh, it's a uh, already designed uh, thing. And so uh, the thing is that they have to uh, build up according to a uh, certified level in this country, within this country. So once they have that certificate, what can they do with the certificate? Uh, with, the with, the cer with the clinical trials, the, the certifying process has also some levels. The level 4 certification has to be issued with the uh, clinical trial so that they can produce the, uh, you know, they, they can produce their product to be used within this country with that certification. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Please give a round of applause.